So this is the way you solder pipes. Now put a solder ring elbow on these two pieces of pipes and turn your little torch on and heat it up. And just doing this on purpose so you can see awkward places how to do it. Uh, heat it up, the flame goes around the pipe. Uh, but you need to just move this around as well so it heats up and then put the solder if you don't have a solder ring joint and it just sucks it in as you saw and for these solder ring uh, connections fittings you don't really need more solder but I just put it for extra safety and and to show you how to solder if there is no solder ring already in the fittings the solder just goes around so even if you put it in one place you don't have to go all around it it just goes around where where it's needed. And done. Once it's done, you get a wet sponge and get all the flux and dirt off because the flux is just gonna stain the pipe later on. If, if you don't wipe it and that's that this blowtorch is a little handy uh, tool it can be refilled uh, so you only need a little gas can to, to fill it it goes a long way to uh, solder with this um, various pipes uh, the pipes I'm using here 15 millimeters but they can be used for bigger pipes as well. Not too massive, uh, but I think you can use it up to 22 mil pipes. Mm. So you don't need to have massive blow torches to do that, which can be dangerous if you're working around the skirting boards and floorboards, those kind of things. If you're working against uh, floorboards or walls, you have paint or things like that, then you haven't got much space like this then uh, you need to put a foil um, aluminium foil or something around this uh, behind the uh, pipe against the wall or against the boards so they don't catch fire be safe and uh, I'll put the links to this um, nice little handy torch which can be for soldering electronic stuff as well as uh, plumbing down to the down in the description Thank you very much. See you again.